Both six and three are versatile chords that can serve multiple functions within a phrase. Because they share two notes with the tonic triad, composers can use them in place of a one chord to achieve different effects. The most common instance of this substitution occurs at a deceptive cadence, when six replaces the expected one chord. As the name suggests, composers use this progression to deceive listeners, often leading to a repetition of the phrase to provide the desired tonic. Voice leading from 5 to 6, or voice leading between any adjacent Roman numerals for that matter, can be tricky because of the heightened potential for parallel fifths and octaves. A simple rule of thumb can help us to avoid this voice leading trap. When progressing from 5 to 6, move two voices up, two voices down, and double the third of 6. A similar issue occurs when 6 moves directly to 5, but this progression is much less common. Also be careful when moving from 5 to 6-6. Six, six. The inverted 6 chord here can sound like a tonic with a wrong note. The 6 chord can also serve to connect chords, often an initial tonic to an inverted tonic, or an initial tonic to a predominant chord. Some examples include 1-6-1-6, one, six, one, six, and 1-6-2-6. One, six, The three chord is closely tied to 1-6, and in many cases can be thought of as a coloristic substitute. Consider the following progression, in which 1 is prolonged by 1-6 on its way to 4. If we substitute 3 for 1-6, we can harmonize a different soprano line. Note that this progression doesn't treat scale degree 7 as a leading tone that must resolve upward. Scale degree 7 acts instead as a passing tone that fills the gap between two anchor chords, 1 and 4. Other similar progressions that use 3 as a substitute for 1 6 include 1 6 3 and 5 3. Both 6 and 3 are tied together closely in a progression known as a descending fifths sequence in which each successive chord lies a diatonic fifth below the preceding chord. In the key of C major, the progression is as follows. The latter half of this progression illustrates a common strategy for moving from three back to one. We'll cover sequences in more detail in a subsequent lesson. Thank you.